Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope everyone is doing well. So I just got back from a week-long vacation in Colorado, so I'm excited to get back to making these videos. And now with it being July 19th, we're only about eight days away from Packers training camp. So I will be covering all of Packers training camp, so stay tuned for that. Feel free to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss all the Packers news coming out soon. We are finally almost back to the season. But I came across a uh, highlight or like a clip from Colin Cowherd speaking with Nick Wright about Aaron Rodgers. And I want to um, discuss first off what they're talking about and then go on to play what they have to say about Rodgers and sort of give my thoughts and uh, take on their opinion. And feel free, as always, to please leave your comments in the or in the comment section down below. So a few, I guess a week or so ago, there was this article that came out that basically broke down um, the top 10 QBs in the NFL. But this list is a little bit more, um, I'd say, some more authority behind this list because they sur surveyed more than 50 league executives, coaches, and scouts. So these are players in the NFL, coaches in the NFL. I'm getting a call. Spam risk. Let's cancel that. Thank you. Um, so these are league executives, coaches, and scouts who made this list or who voted on this list, and these are the top 10. We have Rodgers ranked number one, which is what they discuss, and I'll show you um, their take here. And then we have Mahomes number two, Josh Allen number three, Tom Brady number four, Joe Burrow number five, Stafford six, Herbert seven, Russell Wilson eight, Deshaun Watson nine, and then Dak Prescott number 10. So right now, the league executives, coaches, and scouts that were polled view Aaron Rodgers as the number one quarterback. So I want to um, show you here what these guys have to say. Okay, the list came out. It looked very similar to mine, although the discredit for Derek Carr is egregious on so many levels. Uh, the NFL executives and players and coaches put out a top 10 quarterback list. I had Derek Carr 10. They had Dak 10. I have Dak about 12. I have Lamar 11. Uh, be that as it may, uh, I, I, I said yesterday, I've seen the last 16 games from Aaron, playoff games, often at home as a favorite. He's 7-9, and nine, completes 63% of his throws, and his passer rating dips. He's not the same player when uncomfortable. Yeah. He's not the same quarterback when trailing. I would take Mahomes, Allen, Brady, Burrow, Stafford all ahead of him with two minutes to go trailing in a game. Your thoughts about Mahomes, despite the last three years, being below Aaron. But it's not it – obviously Mahomes shouldn't be below Aaron, but everyone that you mentioned should also be ahead of him. And I would throw – listen, I can't prove it with Justin Herbert because – I don't know about that one. He hasn't played in a playoff game yet, and the knock on Aaron is lack of playoff success. So I can't prove it with Herbert, but I'd rather have Herbert too, as well. I would have those six guys, because what you, to me... Personally, before he finishes here, I, I don't know about you guys. Would you rather have Justin Herbert than Aaron Rodgers? Currently, I would say that's a no for me. I'd still take Rodgers. Uh, yeah, I'd take Rodgers. Me, did you... I'm going to build a bridge here. Did you see... I don't know if it's the WAC... Some small West Coast conference. I think it's the WAC, is considering changing their conference tournament seating, not based on record, but based on like Ken Palm rankings, which is we are now in like a post win losses world. <laughs> this is by the way, the canary in the coal mine for this was Nikola Jokic winning these MVPs. Right. It was like, oh, they're winning, winning sports and winning. <laughs> Who cares about that? Here's what my algorithm tells me is the best. Yeah. And there is an element of that to arguing that Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in football because I watched in 2020, him be far and away the best quarterback in the league. And then I watched Tom Brady play him in the playoffs and Aaron spit the bit right before halftime yep. and then screw up the final meaningful drive of the game. Yep. Like, okay, it's one game, one sample. Ah, I'm not going to kill him. Then I watched in 2021 Aaron be far and away the best quarterback in football and then in his first playoff game, perfect drive down the field for a touchdown, tiny bit of adversity after a ball is dropped, and you score three points the rest of the way. Yep. How can – and by the way, this is where you do get a victory lap because you were you were an early adopter of this, and I didn't believe you. But now the, the body of evidence is great enough that if you are saying the goal is to win a championship, how can you argue Aaron's your first pick? How can you do it? It's baffling to me. Well, it, he, it, he, his, his wow moments are so spectacular – there, there's a Westbrook quality that there are times you're like, John Morant's going to have this. Whoa! Yeah, but here's the thing, Colin. His wow moments are not more wow than Mahomes or Allen. True. They are not. Good point. And they've got them both above 
it, 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 Rodgers above everybody. All right, so here, let me give my thoughts on this. And them, or Aaron Rodgers being ranked number one, they clearly don't believe this. I think they said they would take Matthew Stafford, Justin Herbert, as a few of the guys over Aaron Rodgers, which personally I think is a little crazy. First off, when we do look at Rodgers, I know you can make the argument about, okay, Brady has, what, seven Super Bowls, Rodgers has one. Um, I clearly think that when you look at championships, there's no question. Brady is the GOAT. He is the GOAT. When you look at Aaron Rodgers, though, I still think he is the most talented QB of all time. When you look at how he plays, does he have as many championships as Tom Brady? No. I think part of that has to do with the fact that when you look at Rodgers' his entire career, Tom Brady had a much better, much better defenses overall. Last year was a situation, I think, where obviously in that playoff game versus the 49ers, the Packers defense played out of their mind, only allowed basically, you know, what, 13 points since the Packers still lost that game. So I think you could blame, you know, put some of the blame on Rodgers for last year's playoff loss. I definitely think he would take some of that on his shoulders. Part of it did have to do with the terrible special teams as well. But overall in Rodgers' career, he hasn't had those defenses that Tom Brady has had. And I think that if you would have given Rodgers some of those Tom Brady defenses, I think that these, um, you know, Rodgers could have a few more Super Bowls. We saw back in, you know, 2010, 2011, around that time when the Packers won a Super Bowl, they had one of the best defenses in the NFL. So I think that if Rodgers had had a better defenses overall, he would have, you know, probably won some more Super Bowls. And hopefully this next year with the Packers defense looking like they're going to be much better with all the additions coming in, I think that this could be a year the Packers win the Super Bowl. But when we look at this list, you know, the fact that these people did wrote, uh, vote Aaron Rodgers number one, I mean, the past two years, he's won back-to-back -back MVPs. So for the league officials and these league players and these all these people voting to to rank him number one isn't that crazy. And I understand they're saying, okay, well, he hasn't, you know, he lost in the playoffs. But at the same time, he's been MVP back-to-back -back years. So for him to be, be ranked as the number one QB right now, I honestly don't find it too crazy. Um, if we look at Aaron Rodgers' past two seasons, he has 8,414 passing yards. 85 touchdowns to 9 interceptions. 85 touchdowns to 9 interceptions. So when you look at how productive Rodgers has been, lots of these people would still take Aaron Rodgers. And there, he's had plenty of clutch moments in his career, plenty of times where he's come in and, you know, led the Packers to to wins in the playoffs. There's been other moments where, um, you know, he did that. And then, you know, in a game versus the Seahawks, the special team struggles, the defense can't stop Russell Wilson. There have been many moments where Rodgers was very clutch. And I think that, um, you know, clearly... A player like Brady has more championships than Rodgers, but I still think Rodgers is the most talented QB, um, honestly, of all time. When you look at just how productive he is, and hopefully he can, you know, add another Super Bowl to his to his uh, collection this next season. Because I think, honestly, if Rodgers does, I think that people in the media will be like, okay, well, he has two now. He's tied with like Eli Manning, Ben Roethlisberger, and even though you know guys like Manning, Eli Manning, and Ben Roethlisberger have two Super Bowl wins, personally, in their, all of their careers, I would take Aaron Rodgers every time, even though Manning may have one more Super Bowl. Roethlisberger may have one more Super Bowl. Rodgers just hasn't had the same kind of defenses um, that some of these guys had in the past. And is it all in the defense's fault? No. I think Rodgers clearly at times could be to blame for some of the losses. But at the same time, there have been so many instances in the past, you know, a couple of years of the 49ers just running all over us, running for over like 200 yards. There have been lots of scenarios like that. So we'll see. We'll see what happens coming in the future. Maybe Rodgers can play, you know, another, what, seven, six, seven, eight years like Brady has. And, uh, Maybe he can catch up to Brady. I don't know. I don't feel like Rodgers is going to play that long. I just don't get that vibe from him. I sort of feel like he has one to three years left. That's sort of my take on what Rodgers could do. Maybe, though, in a couple of years, he wins a Super Bowl. Maybe he says, you know what, let's go for a third. I think it's possible. So we still have to wait and see, you know, how many how many Super Bowls Rodgers will end up with. We don't know exactly how that's going to finish off. But an interesting discussion. Let me know your top five QBs in the comments down below um, what you think on this. If you agree with them, do you think it's crazy that Rodgers is ranked number one? Honestly, I don't think it's that crazy considering he has been, I mean, one of the most, if not the most productive, productive QB in the past two seasons. Uh, even though he hasn't won a Super Bowl, but only one player each year wins a Super Bowl. So, I understand it. I understand Rodgers being ranked number one, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you want to see more Packers content, feel free to subscribe. I will be putting out lots of uh, content as the season starts, as training camp starts. I'll be covering all news, updates from practice, um, signings, everything like that. So if you're a Packers fan, you want to see all that stuff, make sure you turn on the not notifications. So that way, every time I make a news video, you get notified. But that is all for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.